Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say our customary blessings. Blessed art thou, Lord, our God, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Lord, our God, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Lord, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Lord. Our God, King of the Universe, who chose us from all nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord make his presence to enlighten you may be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's reading is John 5, 1 through 47. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Yeshua went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool, in Aramaic it's called Bethesda, which has five roof colonnades. In these lay a multitude of in invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been an invalid for 38 years. When Yeshua saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time he said to him do you want to be healed the sick man answered him sir i have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up and when i'm going another steps down before me yeshua said to him get up take up your bed and walk and at once the man was healed and he looked and he took up his bed and walked now that day was the sabbath so the jews said to the man who had been healed it is a Sabbath. Is it not lawful for you to take up your bed? Then he answered them, The man who healed me, the man said to me, Take up your bed and walk. They asked him, Who is this man who said this to you? Take up your bed and walk. Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Yeshua had withdrawn, as there was a crowd in a place. Afterward Yeshua found him in a temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went away, and told the Jews that it was Yeshua who had healed him. And this was why the Jews were persecuting Yeshua. Because he was doing these things on the Sabbath. But Yeshua answered him, My father is working until now, and I am working. That is why the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him. Because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling Elohim his own father, making himself equal with Elohim. So Yeshua said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of His own occur, a, accord, but only what He sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, that the Son does likewise. For the Father loves the Son and shown Him all that He Himself is doing. And greater works than these will be shown Him, so that you may marvel. For as the Father raised up the dead and gives, light, gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom He will. The Father judges no one, but is given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son, just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent Him. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes Him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, an hour is coming, and is now here, when a dead will hear the voice of the Son of Elohim, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has also granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out, for those who have done good to the res resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment I can do nothing on my own as I hear I judge and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will but the will of him who sent me if I alone bear witness about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who bears witness about me, and I know that the testimony that he bears about me is true. You sent to, you sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Not that the testimony that I receive is from man, 
But I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony that I have is greater than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to has given me to accomplish the very works that I am doing. Bear witness about me that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself borne witness about me. His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen, and you do not know and you do not have his works abiding in you, for you do not believe the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in him that in them you have eternal life. And it is they that bear witness about me. Yet you refuse to come to me, and you may have life. I do not receive glory from people, but I know that you do not have the love of Elohim within you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. If another comes in my own name, you will receive him. How can you believe when you receive glory from one another, and do not seek the glory that comes from the only Elohim? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is no one who accuses you, Moses, of whom you have sent. Moses, of whom you have set your hope. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote of me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? <laughs> Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King Universe, who gave us the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, O Lord, giver of the Torah. And that was the fourth read of Vaigash.